Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back for another video. So today what we're going to be showing you guys is some world record cult gameplay. Now you guys know we've been grinding Gene a lot as you guys can see it's at 1622 right now. We've been grinding alongside Pika and Johnny and last night Johnny broke a crazy record getting a 1583 cult which is un heard of the previous record was in takedown showdown or lone star something like that pretty sure it was takedown all the other previous records were takedown and johnny is completely crushed the 3v3 record and now has the all-time record for colt so we're going to show you guys some gameplay this is like truly the most insane thing i've ever seen i don't think anyone's going to be able to ever beat what johnny's probably going to get this season with colt without doing some kind of weird showdown mode or new takedown mode or whatever it's so hard in 3v3 no one's gonna beat this record in 3v3 so with that being said we're gonna hop into some games and we're gonna show you guys this insane cult gameplay let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what he does before we start off just want to say quickly that we are gonna put johnny's link in the description below for his twitter he posts insane clips probably the best clips on cult i've ever seen um, so definitely check that out drop him a follow you guys already know but as you guys can see so johnny's gonna be lane here we did we did push on gem grab now johnny did basically carry us all of heist and gem lane with cole as you guys can imagine is extremely difficult um as you're facing like tara's sandy's you know carl's these really insanely well-rounded brawlers johnny's just out here tearing people up with colt now i have no clue how he does it i really have no clue but he's just an absolute unit you guys are going to see johnny's going to get the kill on the pan that we pull over there and johnny's kind of just walking around the map kind of minding his own business i think we're going to just switch it to follow johnny boy over here and you guys can see just the absolute clips the predictions in grass is amazing he's just hitting everyone like you guys can see it just easily takes out a sandy sandy is so much of a better brawler than colt is i have no clue how johnny does this stuff you know, say, like he's just chilling on that left side. I don't know exactly what happens here. He's kind of just chilling, trying to stay low key, kind of like hiding. You guys can see that Tara does have super. They know that Johnny's in that bush. He's just going to come out and he's just going to absolutely start firing. He doesn't miss. That's the one crazy thing. Like you guys can see back to back full clips. He tries to jump back. Unfortunately, he's not able to do so. But he's just full clipping everyone. Like it, it, it really doesn't make any sense if you ask me how he's able to do this. Um, but he is doing it. And on this map as well, it's so hard to hold lane. You guys can see Johnny with another full clip over there on that pam he's just out here acting like he's just playing one of the better brawlers on the map full clip after full clip he's gonna go for another one like I, like what is he doing i have no clue how this is possible no one else in the game can do this outside of johnny and again he's just gonna stay up here he's just gonna continue full clipping the other team continue killing them just doing what johnny normally does and i mean it's just something insane so that's gonna be the first game let's hop into the second game and let's keep it going so hopping into the next game we're gonna be going up against rosa gene and mr p so these are all counters outside of the rosa obviously to johnny we're gonna spectate johnny johnny's gonna be going on the right side over here which i believe is the harder side he's gonna be going up against lane rosa and rosa's in a bush rosa has all this advantage but johnny's just here he's just casually clipping him as if nothing is going on he's able to get the kill over there gonna hit the gene with me over here we're gonna be able to get that kill Johnny has his super, and when he has his super, something he wants to do is kind of just break open the entirety of that side. Because obviously the less walls, the better. So he is maximizing as much, you know, like, not damage, but as much value with the super as he can. So he's hitting the opponents while also breaking his walls, and breaking walls that he's going to be needing for lane. So he's kind of just vibing, he's doing his own thing. Um, he's going to run up on this Mr. P. He is using Slick Boots Star Power, by the way, which is something that a lot of you guys don't use. A lot of you guys are using Magnum Special, which I also use as well. But apparently Slick Boots is better, says Johnny. So I would kind of just listen to what Johnny says and do that. He's going to break some more walls. I think he was predicting Mr. P to be in there, but obviously he wasn't. But at least he got some broken walls. So now he's kind of getting really hard countered on his lane with that Mr. P. It's a little bit difficult for him to win as it would be with anybody who's playing Colt. So he's kind of just chilling, trying to figure things out. He's going to be juking shots over there. He can take out the Porter really well, luckily. Um, but this matchup against Mr. P is just not very good for him. It's really difficult. And he's just chilling. He's trying to do his best, but unfortunately, he's going to go down. Luckily, though, we do have myself and Pika, like, kind of just trying to hold our own. Pika, I believe, is going to charge in. Johnny's going to move up the map and start getting some clips soon, I think. Uh, he's starting to hit that gene really well. And, I mean, I just really don't know how this works. Like... He's not, I know he's not team wiping at the moment. As I say that, he just has a ridiculous clip on that Mr. P. He's not necessarily running around team wiping, but even the fact that he's holding his own nonetheless winning lane at this top tier trophy gameplay with Colt on this map is just like the craziest thing I've ever seen. So anyways, that's the second game. Let's hop over into the next one. And again, let's show you guys what's happening. So hopping into the next game, we're going to be going up against Poco, Ems, and Mortis. 
Um, now, this is a comp that Johnny should do pretty well against. I kind of forgot how this game went, to be honest. Um, but Johnny's going to be moving up on that right side. He's going lane against a Mortis, which obviously isn't the greatest. He's able to hit some really good clips over there, and he's able to get that kill with 100 HP left. Um, and we're almost gonna go down. We're gonna have to stay away, but Johnny's just gonna help out with lane He's gonna break some walls as you guys can see not really prioritizing hitting his super But more or less prioritizing getting those walls down. Now he does get countered by mortis by the way, so don't uh, ju Don't judge him too hard for dying to a mortis mortis just has to come in and just hit him three times and he's gonna go down So he's kind of chilling. I'm pretty sure we're, they're gonna switch sides over here uh, Myself and Johnny able to get the kill on that mortis over there and me and Johnny are just going to try and pinch this M's. But when I mean me and Johnny, I'm more so just me and Johnny. He's going to hit a full clip on that Colt. He's going to be able... I mean the Poco, sorry. He's going to be able to get that kill on the M's. And we're just going to be chilling over here. Now, this is where Johnny kind of pops off. Because it's just an open map. Um, I've played enough games with Johnny to not have to not remember this game. And still know that this game is going to end with Johnny just popping off on Colt. So you guys see he's able to hit clips over there. He's just hitting full clips left and right. Nobody can get near him or else they just get absolutely full clips. Uh, he's able to hit that dashing mortis. The M's is near him, but obviously he's going to be trying to get that M's. Poco's trying to come up. Johnny's going to not allow that, of course. He's going to get that Poco and somehow also kill the mortis. Like, literally, I have no clue what's happening. But again, Johnny, team wipe in, popping off. He's going to get star player in that game as well. Top into our two final games. Let's get into it and show you guys the insane player, Johnny. So hopping into our next game, we're going to be going up against Crow, Sandy, and Poco. Now, the biggest counter to our comp. We've lost six times this entire push. The biggest counter has to be Sandy because Sandy just, just takes out Colt so easily and then gets uh, gets super. And I can't really do anything when there's a Sandy super because I don't know where people are. So Pika's going to be able to get a kill. Johnny's going to be able to get a kill. And this is just going to kind of win mid for me. I don't have to really hit that poke or do anything. So I'm kind of just chilling. Uh, Johnny's hitting some really good clips over there. I'm going to get a pull, which is going to kind of waste Johnny's super, unfortunately. But I mean, we did get a kill, so it's fine. Uh, we are just chilling over here. I'm giving Johnny the 400 heals that Gene Star Power gives. He's full clipping Crow as normal. Um, he is going to kind of just retreat with me because we don't know where people are because of Sandy Super, obviously. Crow does have Super and Gadget, so it's going to be really interesting. I'm going to get a pull over here. Johnny's going to get a clip on the Poco after we get that pull. He's going to go for the Sandy over here. He's barely going to miss. Um, but he's popping his gadgets every time he runs out of shots So basically what Johnny does is he tries to win lane if he wins lane He doesn't pop gadget and if he runs out of shots and he hasn't won lane He's just gonna pop that gadget and keep it going um, He's able to pinch with a uh, peek over there He's gonna get the kill and we're gonna move back now full clips the crow with absolute ease and here we go They're coming at an open map towards Johnny So again nothing that these guys are gonna be able to do they try and throw the sandy super But Johnny with his insane powers just somehow knows where they are He's getting insane clips. Like, he literally doesn't see them. I don't know how he's getting these clips, but he is doing a little bit of a spin. And that's going to be the end of our second last game. So we're going to show you guys the world record game. So let's hop into it. Let's show you guys what happened. And let's show you guys the Colt world record. So here we go into our final game. We're going to be going up again against a Sandy. Please, no more Sandys, guys. Sandy, Mr. P, and I believe it was Daryl. Yeah, so I don't really know who their mid was. I think their mid was Mr. P or Sandy, which did help out a little bit. So Johnny, really quick qu uh, clips off the start. Also, I've been talking a lot about Johnny, but don't mean to undermine Pika at all. Pika playing bull on this map is also like one of the most insane things I've ever seen. Just them winning lane every like now and then against these players is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we did get pushed onto the European server, so we had delay against Europeans and faced the number two player in the world, faced a couple pro teams and pro players, yet these guys are still winning lane with Colt and Bull. It's, it's absolutely insane. But anyways, Johnny Boy is just here, still clipping, still popping off. He is on that Sandy lane, and again, Sandy is the big counter to him, so he is going to lose that one by a little bit. Um, but again, there's not much you can do against the Sandy um, in, in any case with Colt. So anyways, we're just chilling over here. There is a Daryl. He does like to face Daryl, I'm pretty sure. I don't see why Colt wouldn't like facing Daryl. Uh, he does go down to that one as well because there was Mr. P pinching. Um, but it is going pretty well so far. I'm pretty sure, yeah, 6-4 to four is the score. He's going to go for a full clip. He's going to get that Sandy pretty low, but he's not going to be able to get the kill. Um, trying to get that Mr. P. Again, he gets that Mr. P to one shot. He's able to get that kill on it. He's going to take out the Porter. And this is where the game starts opening up because Johnny is starting to hit some full clips. Starting to just absolutely wipe everyone. So we're just chilling right now. We're doing our own thing. 7-4 to four is the score. I don't want to go aggressive because I can see that that Daryl does have roll. So we're going to get a kill over there. Pika's going to be able to get a kill and just rush 
right back out with the gems, which is something insane that Pika does like like four times every like five games, which I don't even know how it's possible. But anyways, Johnny's still clipping. Johnny's going to go down over there. Pika's going to get the kill. I'm going to miss a blind pull, but that's going to be it. And that is going to be the world record game for Johnny Boy. So I forgot what this got him, but it did get him pretty high. Uh, I guess it got him to 1587. So that's where he currently stands right now with Colt, which is an absolute just godly like accomplishment with 3v3 Colt. Like it's not going to be beaten. Whatever Johnny gets to by the end of the season, it's not going to be beat. He's going to absolutely tear it up. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. We are going to have some world record bowl gameplay coming from Pika soon, hopefully. But anyways, that is going to be it for today. Again, sub to the channel, like the video, drop a comment, and make sure you guys follow Johnny Boy on Twitter. He's an absolute god. But anyways, that's going to be it. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.